Okay, so I'm going to show you how I use the Lose It app. So let's go ahead and launch it. So as you can see, along the bottom here, there's these uh, icons. My Day, Log, Motivate, Goals. And uh, here's what each of those, those this is kind of how you navigate through the app. Uh, my day is kind of like your daily summary. I haven't entered anything yet today. Log is how you log your food. Uh, motivate is like the social networking part of the app. You can you can join groups and uh, and uh, other. I don't really use this part, but here's here's what it can do. Uh, you can make friends, you can join groups. For example, I'm part of the La La Land group, a group for people in and around Los Angeles. And it's just kind of a way for people to connect with each other, maybe keep tabs on each other, motivate each other, uh, try to get a little slap on the back now and then, ask questions. Uh, and another thing you can do is you can join challenges uh, so you can join like a group challenge so here's a group that's their challenge is to log something every day uh, eat vegan for three months straight made to crave. So anyway, here's a, for example, you could join the walkie talkie challenge. So this looks like it's over the next two weeks, walk at least 840 minutes. So anyway, th that's the motivate part of it, but I usually just keep it on my profile so I can just kind of see a chart of where I'm at. Um, but here's the big, um, the main thing I do every day is go here to the goals. And when you first launch the app, it'll ask you to enter your information and set up your goal. So when I did that back at the beginning of February, I weighed 232 pounds. My goal weight is 210. And my information... I want to lose at two pounds a week. Uh, you can, depending on how fast you want to lose the weight, you can see your your daily calorie budget will change. So if I just want to maintain my current weight now, I can eat up to 2,889 calories. But I want to lose two pounds a week, so I can only eat 1,889 so that's the program I'm currently on. So let me just kind of take you through and show you how I uh, use the app. Okay, so first thing I do in the morning is I weigh myself, pull out the scale. Let me set this down. Okay, so I weigh 218. Pounds. So then I just find the Lose It app. And the way you enter your weight is Go down here to the bottom where it says goals. So hit the hit the thing that says goals. Record today's weight. Hit that button. I weigh two eighteen. Save. Come up here to the top right. It says save.
Now I have my my weight last updated seconds ago. So it'll tell you when you last entered your weight. Okay, so while we're here on the goals page, let me just point out some of the ways you can use this information. So goals is how you uh, enter your weight. So you can see just a real quick snapshot view of how you're doing towards your goal so far. Uh, I've lost 14 pounds so far. I have 28 more days till I reach my goal and I currently weigh 218 and here you can see this uh, this kind of chart showing your progress and you can click here the one week view so this is how I've done just over the past week I started the week weighing 219 I dropped down a little bit got down to 217 today I weighed in at 218 uh, so that's my progress on the week. I can click here for the month. Here's what I look like for the month. I started off at 225. I had a pretty lousy week where I wasn't eating very well and my weight went back up to 234. And then I got back on the program and came down. So that's my view over the last month and here you can click on three month view and here you can see my entire progress since I started and this green line here represents my goal weight so I started off pretty far from the green line and as you can see I'm getting closer I like having this view so you can you can just kinda get a snapshot view of your your progress overall so far so that's the goals now let's come over here to log. This is how we log our food. And uh, this little plus button up here. This is not only how you log your food, but also how you log your exercise. Um, here you can see the budget for the day. And I'm 1800 under budget. Uh, so I haven't logged any food or exercise today. One thing that I did do is I took the dog for a walk. So I can click this little arrow, add food or add exercise and I've already took the dog for a walk so here's some recent exercises that I've done so far these are already in my system or you can browse exercises and you can you can pick just about anything if I were to go play basketball and ask me what type just shooting baskets, a game, officiating, just a general game, and I could put 30 minutes and that would be 260 calories. But I didn't do that. What I actually did was I walked the dog. So here, I can click over here, walking, speed. You can put in all types of different speeds. Household marching, marching, pushing a stroller to work with the dog. So I click that and I did it for 45 minutes. So walking with the dog for 45 minutes only burns 156 calories, but that's what I did. So I'll click add up here at the top. And that's where I'm at for today. So I started the day with 1,889 calories. I burned 156 walking the dog. So now my budget is up to 2,045 calories uh, that I can eat. So let's go log some food. So I really love how this app makes it super simple to keep track of keep track of what you're eating to log all your food. It's super it's actually kind of fun uh, so let's say for example you want to make a uh, a meal that includes a fruit smoothie some yogurt with some berries an egg and some oatmeal uh, okay so I have some 
Greek yogurt here from Trader Joe's. I've already measured it out into a half cup. And by the way, you're going to uh, want to keep your measuring cups and your tablespoons and stuff handy if you really want to have an accurate. I mean, a lot of stuff you can just eyeball, but. Okay, so I have my yogurt. And let's say I want to top my yogurt with some frozen berries. Let's say about oh, about a half cup full. Okay, so I've got some yogurt with some berries here. And let's say you want to make a fruit smoothie. I've got some orange juice. It's got about, well, I've had about two thirds of a cup. Orange juice. apple here and I think I'll just eat this one and I've got some blueberries let's put in about a quarter cup of frozen blueberries smoothie. I'll blend that up later. And let's say I want to make some oatmeal. So let's measure out a half a cup of oatmeal. There's a quarter of a cup. And I also want to have an egg. Okay, so how do we log all this stuff? Uh, what's really awesome about the Lose It app is... Whoop, let me get my passcode entered right here. Is that you can... Come right here to the log section. I click the little plus sign up at the top. I'm going to add food. So once you go to add food, you'll see that there's some some different sections right here. You can have you can search and then you can just start searching their entire database of foods and they it's huge. You, almost everything's in it. Uh say you want Frozen blueberries. Frozen. Frozen blueberries. They have a huge database, but the cool thing is, is this little thing right up here. This is the barcode scanner. You don't have to manually look everything up. Just hit this little barcode scanner and let's say, okay, for the yogurt, almost everything that's prepackaged has a barcode on it. So as you can see, let me just show that again. You hit this little barcode icon up at the top, that brings up your camera, you see those orange lines. Line up those orange lines with the barcode on your it reads the barcode and boom it instantly knows 
what it is and I put in a half cup so you can adjust your amount I had a half cup and I, I can already see right here for a half cup of of uh, Greek yogurt this is it's only 60 calories it's got 11 grams of protein I can go ahead and hit add up here at the top so that's going to add and I can click this button up here and that's going to add it to let's say this is my lunch even though it's nighttime already this is going to be lunch so done so my food for today so far I have for dinner Greek yogurt but I also want to add these berries so I'll hit cancel to get back out of that I'm going to hit the my little plus button add food let's do the barcode again and on the back of this package of berries I there's a, let me find the barcode just scan that and boom I've got the berries here and how much did I put on there? I put about a half cup of frozen berries I'll add that now uh, I can hit done. I can keep adding food or I can hit done. I can see. Alright, my dinner has so far 113 calories. What else am I going to eat for dinner? Okay, I also had the some oatmeal. So let's add the oatmeal. There's my barcode. So let me pull up the barcode reader. There it is. Old fashioned oats, and I had a half cup. Okay, now here's something you might run into. It just says servings. Alright, so how much is in a serving here? Let's look. Uh, serving is a half cup, uncooked which is exactly how much I put in there so I want to make sure I have one serving 150 calories which as you can see matches up with what it says on the label sometimes it doesn't match exactly uh, so you always kind of be aware of that um, Okay, so I, I've added my, click add to add that amount of oatmeal. Now I can add some more. Well, let's see, I had the orange juice. Okay, I had, what was it, two-thirds of a cup of orange juice. I have the container I made the orange juice with here. I'm just going to click the barcode reader. and boom okay fluid ounces okay it's not letting me enter the orange juice in cups it's asking for fluid ounces so how many fluid ounces was was two-thirds of a cup that's somewhere in the ballpark of five five fluid ounces so let's say five and a half fluid ounces of orange juice that's just the orange juice alone is 275 calories and I can see that it has quite a bit of sugar too down here you can see 63 grams of sugar just in five ounces of orange juice so be careful with orange juice